Hey guys, this is Samir for Thing Digit, and today we have with us the Micromax Canvas Doodle 2. The first thing that you will notice about the smartphone is that it has a large 5.7 inch 720p display and the body is aluminum. So you get a quite a well-built smartphone for quite a premium price. The Canvas Doodle 2 is priced at Rs 18,000. Is it worth your hard-earned cash? We find out. Starting with the specifications of the Canvas Doodle 2, it has a 5.7 inch 720p display, 16 GB built-in storage of which only 13 GB is available to the user. There is no expansion option via a micro SD card. The rear has a 12 megapixel camera and the front has a 5 megapixel camera for video calling. The smartphone runs on the MediaTek MT6589 chipset where the CPU is clocked at 1.2 GHz you get a fairly stock Android 4.2 Jelly Bean user interface. Coming with the design, the design of the smartphone is quite impressive. You have the standard Micromax look in front where you have the home menu and the back buttons at the bottom. The rear has an aluminum finish to it which gives the Canvas Doodle 2 a very good feel. It gives the feel of a premium smartphone. The bottom just houses the speaker. The central portion is not removable which means you don't have access to the battery. And the top has the 12 megapixel camera. This portion is removable which gives you access to the two SIM card slots. Coming to the user interface of the Canvas Doodle 2, it's stock Android. The interface is the same as we've seen on a large number of other Micro Max Android powered smartphones such as the Canvas 4, Canvas 2 and more. Uh, you get a bunch of Micro Max preloaded apps such as a M Secure, a Games Hub, the M unlock which we saw on the Canvas 4 which is basically blow or shake to unlock and a few other features. Apart from the Micromax specific apps, the user interface is stock Android, something that we like and it's very smooth to use. Coming to the display of the Canvas 4, it's quite vibrant, especially if you put the brightness on full, you can really enjoy when you play games, browse the internet or watch videos. It's a treat to consume multimedia since the device has a large display and the resolution is 720p. The pixel density on the display is 258 ppi. So sometimes videos do look washed out when you're watching them. Apart from that, reading text, browsing the internet and doing other activities on the display is quite a good experience. Just as we've seen on the Canvas 4 and some other smartphones from Samsung, the Canvas Doodle 2 has the ability to pause the video when you look away. This can be turned on and off at any moment from the display itself. The feature works quite well. It worked a little better on the Canvas 4 and seems a little gimmicky on the Doodle 2. You can also take screenshots from the app and also watch the video in a window mode, which is to say that the movie will play in a short window on the display wherever you want it to and you can do other activities such as send a text message, browse the internet and more and have a seamless experience of watching the movie and interacting with the device. This is easy considering you have a 5.7 inch really large display so it's comfortable to watch the video and do other activities at the same time. In terms of other average everyday performance, be it calls, browsing the internet, social networking, texting, the Canvas Doodle 2 performs quite well. You get a seamless UI and basically the large display is good if you want to consume more content. It might get a little uncomfortable to use as a phone, but as a multimedia device, it works well. The camera on the rear of the Doodle 2 is 13 megapixel and the performance can be described as average at best. In well-lit conditions, you get quite good images, especially in outdoor conditions. But if there is low lighting in any situation, the images appear noisy and there is loss of detail. To conclude, we'd like to say that the overall build of the Canvas Doodle 2 is good and I'm impressed with the aluminum back. In its performance, however, the device falls short. It comes with a stylus which you will lose almost immediately since there is no place to house it on the device and there aren't any apps that really take advantage of it apart from one doodling app which is a native app of Micromax. If however you want a large screen smartphone for browsing the web, playing games, reading books, you can consider this device. If you want a raw performing smartphone under the 20,000 budget, there are many options for you to choose from.